Greetings, unsettled souls. Yes, greetings, unsettled souls. Sam, I beat the Ganji doing political commentary for the media speaks. Uh, I'm having trouble with my screen share here. I'm not really sure why. Uh, interesting story. It doesn't really matter if you're saying the screen share correctly or not. Something really interesting I have found the other day. And I wanted to start sharing it with people. So the reason I'm going to screen share here is because I want you to really focus on what it is that I'm about to say here. This is a bonus show for subscribers, for people that are going the extra mile for the show, as it were. Let you look at screen share as we uh, commence. How many of you have heard about this? Um, there we go. Let me get this going. How many of you have heard about the now famous Mandela effect? If you don't know what the Mandela effect is, I'm going to give it to you in a nutshell. And I'm not going to go over the same kinds of reiterations that everyone else has already said. No, 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 no. We're going to, we're going to point out something very nice, and I want comments on this. How many of you know? I don't mean remember, as in fuzzy. You know there were four people in the car when JFK died. Everyone knows this. We have known this our whole lives. Well, look at the video in front of you. There's six people in the JFK car. There's also a glass up between the front seat and the back seat that many people don't remember. That's not the same footage that we all saw so what am i saying am i saying that history changed yes it's exactly what i'm saying i'm saying that very thing um some people are blaming it on cern and uh, the way they're describing it with cern is that it is uh a, 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 that, you, that the universes that uh god has made or if you believe in uh random creation or just you know whatever but i'm gonna go with god because that's what that's what I know. Um, God created the universe as like a Bible, perhaps, with many, many pages. And each page has its own writing, its own code, if you will. Well, if you were to put that on a wall in an image like a hologram, the universe on one page would be almost exactly like the universe on the other page but it stands to reason that there would be little tiny tweaks little tiny changes and inconsistencies that would be a little bit different um the analogy that i i, I would like to uh possibly use is uh you can go to passingtime.biz it's my band's page and on it you'll see that i did a number of graphic designs the original logo was made for us by uh, Broken Razor Dolls. It's a magazine. And I got the idea to change the colors of the logo on each of the band members' different pages. So uh, Billy Dee's, for instance, is brownish yellow. Uh, um, Serenity's is much more purple. Mine is a dark blue. And when you did that to pictures, the pictures would sometimes show you nuances that you couldn't see in the other color, even though they were there. That's the analogy that I'm going to go with here, is that when you put one reality on top of another reality, then there are going to be minor glitches in the, in, in the progress of things. Uh, the JFK assassination here that we've been watching is one of them. I'm going to go to a, a, another one and let it play in the background as I do this. Um, just keep watching the screen. You'll see um, things that you've known your whole life have been drastically changed. Um, when I was growing up, you had to learn uh, the lamb will lie down with the lion. Well, overnight, that has become the wolf will dwell with the lamb. Little things have changed. The spelling, as you see there, of Bernstein Bears. How many of you uh, know Star Wars very well? C-3PO, the robot, he is yellow, right? He's all yellow. Well, suddenly, overnight, he had a silver leg, and it's not the remastered version. 
Um, what's important to note here is that all references, just about, to the original has been drastically changed. So, for instance, Looney Tunes. Many of us know Looney Tunes was spelled T-O-O-N-S, not Looney Tunes like music. Tunes, T-U-N-E-S. It was a play on words, cartoons, um, Looney Tunes going crazy. By, but many people believe is overlapping realities, whether it's done by uh, CERN or time travel or aliens or God or whatever. I, I'm not pretending to know what it is. But this is changing small nuances. So many of you are going to be surprised to see that the reality that we are in now says that Looney Tunes was never spelled O-O-N-S. It has always been T-U-N-E-S. And we know that that's not the case. We know that it was the Berenstain Bear. Berenstain Bear is not Stain. <clears throat> we know these things. We grew up with these things. Well, <clears throat> if you look up, <clears throat> again, I'm not going to go over all of the ones that everyone's already gone over. I'm letting many play on the screen. I just gave you that as a backdrop. Here is the main point of this video, and here's the comments I want, and I want you to share it and see what kinds of comments you get. If someone says that they remember Looney Tunes always being spelled the way that you see it on the screen, most people are remembering it as O-O-N-S, Looney Tunes, T-O-O-N-S. Well, History says that it has always been Looney Tunes, T-U-N-E-S. Therefore, history has been changed. But if someone says they remember it as T-U-N-E-S, and they say that they know that it always has been, they also are right. But you're going to ask, Sam, that doesn't make any damn sense. I should click off this video. I wasted my life. Why am I listening to you? That doesn't make any damn sense. Yes, it does. Hear me out. The reality to where Looney Tunes was spelled U-N-E-S, that universe also existed. And if the two realities are put together, and someone doesn't remember U-N-E-S, that would also make sense because where their reality was, what their reality was, was never O-O-N-S. That only happened to them when they merged. So uh, the, uh, most people that suffer from, um, this is called the Mandela effect, many people that suffer from this think that other people are lying to them and that's not the case i think what we're seeing here is at least two possibly more realities spliced right on top of each other most people are from the tunes t-o-o-n-s camp some of them are not and what caused it well, i don't know there's a few guesses some people say CERN. It's in September. Um, there's certainly reasons to suspect CERN. Uh, again, I'm not, I'm not going to put my credibility out there and say that that's what it was. But I can tell you why they think it. Shiva, the god of destruction, is the uh, statue in front of the building. Out of all the gods and goddesses they could have picked, isn't that interesting? Um, they go through ritualistic dances before the scientists do the experiments. It's held over an ancient sacrifice ground. I should say buried under an ancient sacrifice ground. It's the biggest machine ever. I mean, that's not an analogy. It is. Um, it costs several, I believe, trillion dollars to make. I don't, it was a ridiculous amount of money to make the collider. Their logo is three sixes. Okay. And we know that there's a really good chance that this kind of technology, quantum technology, quantum physics, could in fact, if you smack particles together quick enough, reenact the Big Bang. And that could make 
microscopic black holes. And some people were concerned that the black holes would suck in on themselves. Um, that is a theory, but it's also possible that they just create a brief hallway or a doorway to another universe due to the impact and the energy has to go somewhere and it folds in on itself. That the particles hit so hard together that they literally fold inward. Well, that's what a black hole is. It's a collapse of something into itself. Um, that could be. Uh, some people have said time travelers. Well, you you know, who's to say? I, I, I have no proof that there are time travelers, so I'm not going to say that either. But I can tell you this. The wolf did not dwell with the lion. Looney Tunes was O-O-N-S. C-3PO was always all gold. You know what, friends? I can promise you this. You're listening to The Correct Views, friends. Um, thank you for listening. Make sure you hit uh, subscribe, hit share, because um, this is a bonus show, and I think it's something that has a lot of merit to it. But uh, don't worry about the, the analogies that I gave you about uh, uh, the lion and the lamb or any of the other nine million ones you're going to find online. I'm just using that to share everybody what I'm talking about in case you don't know. What I'm asking for comments on is what do you think about the fact that both sides could be remembering them correctly? Because some, if you lay two realities on top of each other, some people have always known the wolf will dwell with the lamb. But that was never the way it was in our reality. But do you see why they both could be right? You can help me out, friends, by donating at the correct views at hotmail.com. Every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. Good night, friends. God bless. Dunce Cap of the Month Award coming next week.